Hi, how you doing? This is World War Prime here again. We got some news out in Queens, some racial news, some some racial news that's happening to a lot of companies nowadays. They're treating their colored folk in their companies very disturbing in very disturbing ways. Now, this this situation has happened in the borough of Queens. Borough of Queens, all right. Borough of Queens, and we're gonna get to the guy, the, the story, and the headlines right now. Okay. Uh, two African American workers claim they suffered on the job racial slurs and abuse. Okay, and this is happening often nowadays. Two African American workers in Queens real estate management company say they've been subjected to on the job racial slurs. Degrading photos and even nasty remarks and making light of hate and few mass killings. Michael Belvin and Michael Mayers alleged they had to ensure vile treatment from the Lechester man management bosses and co-workers because of their, their skin color. And then the pair were punished for complaining. That's amazing, isn't it? Complaining about skin color. I mean, they they getting them on them by skin color in in probably a, a, a big business and and they punish them for, for complaining. That's very strange. I don't understand. We're supposed to take that. We're supposed to just just love hearing people calling us the N word and. All stuff like that. I mean, I don't know about you, but that's a little bit disturbing, okay? According to Brooklyn Federal Laws filed Sunday, both men are porters who have worked for a management company for more than 10 years. Bellin said he got the cold shoulder when he complained about a picture of a monkey posted in the locker room. Another time, workers alleged crawled monkeys on the picture of then President Obama. One former boss spewed an N-word. He said that same boss also huge hugged a Confederate flag in the office and said it should have been the national flag. Delvin alleged at the racist Delvin Roof gunned down nine Charleston, South Carolina, church goers, Belvin said, a foreman told him, you all complain about everything. Like the shooting that happened in South Carolina. The shooting that happened in South Carolina happened in church. Killed eight people. Okay? Excuse me. I don't understand the, the mental capacity of excusing something like that. That is not a complaint. That is a problem, okay? The people was in church, mind their own business, since they are peaceful people, the man went in the church, the little guy went in the church, and just shot them all, okay? And then they tell you, you complain too damn much. Okay, <laughs> somebody explain that for me. Myers, who also alleged saw the locker room animal pictures, said he was given busy work and deprived of equipment to do his job. The lawsuit said Mayors had to leave work for a year following his rule, his July 15 leukemia, leukemia diagnosis. He allegedly was fired while he was out sick, but he successfully fought to get his job back. When he returned and filed the paper connecting to the to the leave, he alleged was told that the company received his disability complaint that filed this disability complaint is not the way to go at work. Albert Van Lahr, the workers attorney, said his client has been has been at the butt end of racial harassment and abuse for a long time. Still, he added, they don't want to leave a good job when they can stand up and fight for what is right. Now, that's probably noble to stand the job, 
But all you're going to do is get the same damn thing. Okay? I mean, you can take it to a lawyer, you're going to get the same damn thing. It's, it's, it's really ironic how this country is changing. It's, 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 in my opinion, a pitiful sight when professionals like these in big offices and big positions and big responsibilities load their mind into a animalistic and, 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 and childish way of thinking. Okay? Me personally, in my readings, in my, in my life, I dealt with logic, I dealt with, with with knowledge, I dealt with all that stuff like that. What I didn't deal with was racism. I don't like racism, never have liked racism either way. But racism seemed to be coming back to America. Good old freaking goddamn apple pie in this country grew racism. <laughs> coming back and black people seem to don't know, understand what the hell is going on. Fortunately, I know what's going on, but black people in general don't know what's going on. They think it's might going past or something like that, man. It ain't going past. It ain't going past. All right? And as simple as that. It was like, it's like black people, I mean, these people, we, good people, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, uh, Margaret Evers, uh, Marcus Garvey, all died the battle is disease and and it seems like that disease is crawling back up in an American pie and it's the nasty disease it's, this, it's a disgraceful disease I mean really it's a disgraceful disease called racism racism is totally I mean you have to go into another racist mind to know what racism really is okay and it's simple as that we are on the defensive you gotta go on the offensive mind or examine the offensive mind to really know what racism is and why they hate black people okay don't make no damn sense we're not perfect as a race and neither is Caucasians so that's all I got to say right now. I hope you enjoyed the show. I will leave a, I leave the story in the description box below. And uh, you take care. This is new, this is World War Prime coming at you at Queens, New York. Thank you.